Hello everyone, this is Twofer on the ModSpeedForums.org forum and the YouTube channel Turbo Happy Car. Here to do a little tutorial on how to download files from your Cobb access port to Google Docs. So the first thing you want to do is hook up your access port. Mine's already hooked up, so I'm going to hit connect. Then you're going to select your data log and click this little computer looking icon. Then pick where you're going to save the log to. I save it to my logs folder. It copies up and then you'll see data log one dot CSV. Then what I like to do is rename it to the date the tune file I'm using the log of the day and what we were doing at the time. In this case a fourth gear wide open throttle run. Then what you can do is, in Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, go to docs.google.com and log in. If you don't have a login, just create one. Use bullshit information if you want to. But once you're all ready, it'll look something like this. And you can either click the upload button here, which is this red icon with the hard disk going up, or since this is using HTML5, you can just drag files onto it. Now this is the uploading screen and here you can see that there's some settings. What you'll want to do is click convert uploaded files to Google Docs format. Otherwise you'll have to convert them manually. Once the upload's complete, you probably have to convert this. To do so, actually I'm not sure how to convert the file. So, now that we've set our upload settings, convert uploaded files to Google Docs format, we'll just upload it again. This time we'll use the upload button here in the docs. So we're going to click the button, click files, get your file chooser here, and then scroll down to the file you wanted. So it's uploading, and converted. Alright, good to go. So now you see the blue icon means it's a Google Docs spreadsheet. If you want to, you can delete your old file. So here's our file. I'm going to click on that. And now this is the Google Docs spreadsheet. This is a pretty standard spreadsheet application. And you can look through your data here. Across the top are going to be your headings. If you want to freeze those headings so you can see what you're doing once you scroll down, click on the View button, click Freeze or Mouse over Freeze Rows, click Freeze One Row. And that way it'll stay at the top so you can scroll down and see your data. If you want to trim your files, click on the left heading here, scroll down. I'm going to look for where accelerator pedal position picks up. So here it is, 67. We're going to sh hold shift and left click. Now it's selected all these rows. You can right click, right click and delete rows 2 to 25. Then click off somewhere. Now that took care of everything ahead of your file, your run. Scroll down. And here's everything after, so click, scroll down, shift, hold shift, click, and then right click again, delete rows, 171 to 215. Alright, cool. So now we've trimmed our data. And to graph it, what we're going to do is first select RPM. And I'll show you why here in a sec. So click on the O for RPM, it'll be different for yours. And then click the button here for insert chart. Now you get this nice graph of what happened to your RPM. I like to pick line chart here and then click this button here that says select data range. With this you can add additional ranges. So we're going to add air fuel ratio and boost and that's good for now. Click OK. Then click customize. Scroll down and the reason we picked RPM first is because it'll come up in this drop down first. And then what we're going to do is select RPM to the right axis. Because raw RPM is a scale of thousands of, RP of revolutions. Meanwhile AFR and boost are going to be you know 15 or 11. So anyway, takes care of the scaling. At this time I don't know of any way to add more axes than two. So that's reserved for another program. So you click insert and your chart shows up kind of off screen a little bit drag it over, then hit this drop down button and hit move to own sheet. 
Neato! We got our chart. If you want to switch back to your data, down at the bottom of the screen there's Sheet and Chart. Also, if you want to crop out certain sections of data and chart those separately, you can do it that way. So the cool thing is, now you can edit your title and axes if you want to, but the really good thing to use is this view mode. Once you click on that, you can mouse over the curve and see what the data was at that point. So at my current tune, I'm targeting 15 and a half pounds of boost. So basically, the boost came up, it overshot a little bit, up to 16.5, it underboosts a little bit, probably as a function of boost error compensation, and then comes up on target, and pretty much stays there, until it drops down at the end. AFRs, target is 11.4, basically goes to that spot, and sits there. So that's cool. Now if you want to add additional fields to the chart, or if you want to change things, click on the Advanced Edit button here. If you want to add additional fields, click on Start, hit Select Data Range again, and then you click the Sheet 1. Hit Add Other Range, and then we'll add um, High Pressure Fuel Pump Pressure, and Wastegate Duty Cycle. Now, once again, we ran into the same scaling problem. So, we'll take HPFP, put it on the right axis, and now it'll be sharing the same axis with the RPM. Cool, so once again, you click the View Mode, and now you can see what the wastegate duty was doing. And, High Pressure Fuel Pump. So there you go, there's a quick tutorial on how to use Google Docs, how to upload your Cobb Access port files, and uh, hopefully we'll take care of some noobs on the Mazda Speed forums. Thanks a lot, enjoy.